Invaders Plus. This game packs a bit of the ultra-violent as you waste aliens left and right with your triangle that shoots laser beams. I'm not sure if there was an original Alien Invaders, but I like the addition of the plus. It's like milk plus from a clockwork orange. Good stuff. And at first glance, this game resembles Space Invaders quite a bit, but it's very different than Space Invaders in some key areas. For one thing, the scoring takes a bit of uh, getting used to. You're playing against the computer, but the Magnavox scores you as though you were playing against a human opponent. The top left is the Aliens score, or the Magnavox, and the top right is you, or the carbon-based life form. Let's take a look at the elements on screen. The, the blue triangle is your um, spaceship laser cannon thing. The black squares are shields, sort of like in Space Invaders, except that you can't shoot them, and if your triangle coating gets destroyed, and you're like the little guy running around, uh, you get beneath one of those shields and fire, and then that shield somehow puts the blue triangle back over you. So in effect, it gives you three lives per round. You can take a hit, and then run under the shield, and get yourself another uh, triangle. Actually, that's kind of a neat feature of this game, and that's very different than Space Invaders. Here's the box art for this thing. You can see it's very colorful. I, I actually really like the Odyssey 2 logo that they use in all this stuff. It's got snakes for aliens, or alien snakes coming out of a city that has tentacles and things that come down and shoot you. That's just tremendous packaging right there. I really like that artwork. And they carry that over onto the game design here. Familiar carrying handle, Odyssey 2 by Magnavox, Alien Invaders Plus with an exclamation point. I sped the game up there a bit. You play the game to 10, so you don't score it like you do in Space Invaders, where you just keep uh, increasing your score. Oh, here, this is the one part of the game that really bothered me. When you run out of all your spare triangle spaceship laser cannon things, and the aliens are trying to shoot you, you just run around back and forth until they eventually kill you. You're essentially just, um, screwed, and you know it. And the only thing you can do is run back and forth until you eventually just get tired or they shoot you first. Minor complaint, because it's actually kind of fun to watch the little guy go, ah. The first person to ten, I'm sorry, the first entity to ten wins. Period. The green circles moving back and forth are the alien shield. You cannot destroy those at all. The things that look like yellow mushrooms are the alien laser cannons shooting at you, and the things that look like pink little people moving back and forth are the aliens themselves, I think. And the pink thing at the top of the screen with the tentacles is obviously that thing from the cover of the Alien Invaders Plus packaging, which looks like the album cover of Boston with tentacles, which means it's basically the coolest alien ever. I actually feel bad for shooting at it. I'd like to hang out and drink beer with that thing because you know that thing is cool. After you've destroyed all the little pink alien guys, the, uh, the Boston spaceship with tentacles comes down and attacks you. And actually, I think it's pretty tough to destroy. And this game is very challenging.
What's tough to see on screen, and you get this more when you're actually playing it, is that you have to almost lead your shots so that they pass the shield, then the shield moves and the alien moves in front of where your shot is. And they slowly move to the left and right, so you have to wait for them and try to get a shot up there, all the while dodging the pink thing shooting at you from the top. And then you can easily make a mistake when the pink snake tentacle wielding Boston spaceship comes down to attack you and completely blow the round at the last second. It's an interesting game on the Odyssey too, a very different take on this genre from what you see in Space Invaders or Demon Attack. And maybe the plus just means that at the last minute they had to pull the marshmallows from the game because Alien Invaders plus marshmallows would have been an excellent video game and also a tremendous co-branding opportunity with breakfast cereal. Like instead of eating Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries, you could have Alien Invaders plus marshmallows.